Hello, beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do the daily reading for today. Today is the 16th. Yes, it is June the 16th. So this reading will be for today or whenever you guys hear this reading. So let's hop in, my loves, and let's see what's going on with you all in love. Keep in mind that this is general. So it will not resonate with everyone. Guys, please do only take what resonates with you. All right, let's see. Spirit of the Universe, messages for the collective. Messages for the collective in love. Messages for the collective in love. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's look at the current energy around your love life. Then I'll kind of look into um, into your person's energy. I'll look to see what they're all about. Um, you know, and like their feelings towards you at this time, guys. So, yes, let's see. Uh -oh. All right, let's see. The current energy around the collective love life right now. Current energy around the collective love life right now. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the High Priestess. We have the Ten of Swords. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords coming up in reverse. So this is the overall energy for today's reading. So the Five of Swords in reverse can be you guys moving on. Um, it can be communication coming in, but kind of moving on from the situation. We do have the Eight and the Ten of Swords with the High Priestess. So not knowing what to believe but also feeling deceived um, and betrayed in a situation with that Ten of Swords. And you're just like, enough is enough. I'm done. And you just kind of want it to be behind you, this situation, this person, whatever's going on. The Five of Swords in reverse can also be you guys um, releasing stress, okay? So just no longer um, stressing out or not stressing as much as you were before when it comes to this person or this situation, all right? So let's definitely look at the cards. Let's see what's going on, guys, because you guys are definitely... Um, in your head about a situation. And I thought with the Eight of Swords and the High Priestess, like I said, you guys just didn't know what to believe. All right? Your intuition is definitely blocked when I see the Eight of Swords to the High Priestess because you're overthinking something or you just can't think clearly. All right? You just got too much on your mind. But whatever it is or whatever happened, you did feel betrayed or you feel betrayed in this situation. So let's see what's going on. Let's see why. Um, let's go into the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? See, why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Four of Cups. Yeah, and you guys are trying to focus and move forward and move on. The Four of Cups is here. It's in reverse. So you guys are definitely trying to get out of your head and, you know, move on from this situation. With that Four of Cups coming up in reverse. So let's see. Why were you blocked with the High Priestess? Even though the High Priestess is in the upright, when I see that Eight of Swords there, to me, it's telling me, like, you guys are just kind of blocked because you are either overthinking something Okay, so let's see. Or something was just like on your mind. Non-stop, all day, all night. So let's see why the High Priestess is here. It could be Pisces. We have the sun, but you're gaining clarity. Are you gaining clarity? Or it's like the truth came out. Something was, um, I wouldn't say exposed, but it's like the, the sun. Um, you shine the light on the situation. Okay, so maybe your intuition was trying to tell you something. You were kind of blocked because you were overthinking it. But then it's like you gained clarity. Or, like I said, the light will shine on the situation, okay? So, with the sun, Leo energy, that looks good. So, let's see. Why is the sun here? Too many cards. Let's see. Why is the sun here? Going to the sun. Why is the sun here? The queen of swords reverse. All right. So, whatever you were mad about, stressed about conflicted about whatever happened you gain clarity all right something came to light and it's like with the queen of swords here i what i'm getting is that there was a reason why you guys were acting or reacting this way to this person because the queen of swords reverse is not pretty it's not so i feel like you could have been like really mad and upset and you're trying to tell this person like look i know something's going on i'm not crazy you keep telling me that i'm lying you keep telling me that you know, I'm wrong about this, I'm wrong about that, 
But it's like, as a queen of swords, reverse high priestess, you knew something was wrong. You just didn't know what was wrong. Or you knew something was going on or happening, but you just didn't know. But that's you upset, trying to get to the bottom of it, trying to get the truth. You know, trying to, like, really, like, go in and, like, you know, like, follow and trust your intuition. Like, it's like you're trying to, like, get to the bottom of it. But it's like with the sun there, something was exposed. Like, something came to light. All right, so this is the energy around your um, around the collector's relationship. So let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. Why the Ten of Swords here? Going to the Ten of Swords. Why the Ten of Swords here? The King of Cups in reverse. Okay, so you feel emotionally manipulated. The King of Cups in reverse is a liar, a cheater, or someone that detaches themselves from a situation emotionally, or they're emotionally detached. All right, so let's see why the King of Cups is coming up in reverse with the Ten of Swords. The Six of Cups. This can be someone from your past or someone that you feel like you have a soulmate connection with. You guys can possibly have, possibly have children. But to see the Six of Cups on top of the King of Cups reverse, this is someone that is also trying to come off as very innocent, trying to play victim. Um, they're trying to come off as if it's not their fault or like they didn't do anything wrong in the situation. So let's see. Are the I don't know what you're talking about kind of energy. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Seven of Pentacles. This is someone thinking, contemplating. Uh-oh. And then we have with the moon and the emperor reverse. All right? So, there we go. There goes that cheater, that liar. Someone keeping secrets, something hidden. Someone keeping something hidden. And it coming to light and things being exposed. So, you're not tripping. You're not tripping. The truth is coming out or about to come out. So your intuition was trying to tell you something, but because you were overthinking the situation, you couldn't gain clarity. But you did, and you were right. And someone was emotionally manipulating you or trying to come off as if, like, they were innocent or they didn't know what you were talking about or they did nothing wrong. So someone is, so you guys just feel betrayed by this person or you feel betrayed in this situation. All right, so... To see the moon and the sun is definitely telling me that things are hitting you in the dark about some certain things or about a situation. But now that's coming to light. That's being exposed. All right. And while they're sitting back thinking seven of pentacles, the truth is coming out. This can also um, be their long term relationship or whoever they were with or is just telling me they could be invested in a situation already. All right, guys, so let's see what else we got. Let's see what they're all about. The King of Cups, the Six of Cups. See, look, they're that same energy. Oh, I'm in love. I love you. I care about you. I miss you. I want to see you. You make me happy. I feel connected. We have such a, con we have such a strong connection. Or we, we have a deep connection. There's a lot of love between us and the lovers. So maybe that could be. All right, but let's see. Because this is what they're all about. But the lovers is about making a choice with that seven of pentacles, the emperor in reverse, king of cups in reverse, because they can't be in both situations. So let's see why the king of cups is here. Why is the king of cups? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Why is the king of cups here? Why is the king of cups? The three of wands reverse. In the will of fortune in reverse. So there is some type of setback and delay. There's a reason why something cannot move forward right now. And the king of cups wants to move something forward, but they know they can't. Or they know it's not the right time. The three of wands reverse is also someone returning, coming back to you. All right. From your past. A past situation coming back around. Going to this, um, going to the lovers. Why is the lovers here? So maybe this is what happened in the past and this person is trying to come back around. Going to the lovers. Why is the lovers here? The queen of cups. And then we have it with the five of pentacles reverse. All right. So to see the five of pentacles coming up in reverse. Um, and then we have this queen of cups. 
So this is someone coming back um, around or someone definitely trying to, um, well, yeah, because we do have the sun there. So this can also be someone coming back wanting your forgiveness with this five of pentacles in the reverse wanting to recover from the past like so like you guys recovering from the past and what happened between the two of you guys um this person may also want to know if like you have fully let go of them and moved on because the five of pentacles in reverse can be you moving on from a relationship and going towards like new love or just like moving on from the relationship or just like letting go of the relationship so maybe you guys let go of this relationship and they're trying to come back around why is the five of pentacles coming up in reverse two of pentacles ten of wands reverse Well, that's about three king of swords so the two of pentacles is telling me this is someone that has made a decision all right um and they feel like they're balanced they feel like they're ready they've made a decision they released some burdens whatever was stopping you guys from moving forward that's they consider that to be out the way or no longer challenging the relationship with the world the king of swords and the eight and the star sorry so this can be an aquarius especially with the world card aquarius auto all right, could be an Aquarius, could be any sign. And this is what they are currently all about. So let's pull the romance angel and see what they're all about. Let's see, what is this person currently all about when it comes to the collective? What is this person currently all about when it comes to the collective? Whoever the collective is dealing with, what is this person currently all about? All right, so we have past life relationship. You guys haven't known each other before. So you guys can have some type of past life soulmate connection. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So there can still be some attraction there. Or um, that can be you guys kind of like moving on, moving forward. And attracting like new love. We have playfulness to recapture your romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So they're trying to also come back and be um, playful with you. But let's see. Let's see what the overall energy is. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And we have finances and career and love yourself first. So this person... Um, has been getting themselves together financially, loving themselves or putting themselves first, like focusing on self-love and stuff. And now they fight like they're ready to call you back into their life. But I don't feel like that was the issue, though. Um, let's go back into this Emperor Reverse, clarify the Emperor Reverse. The Magician, this is the person manifesting you back into their life. Um, the King of, uh, not the King, the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. We have Virgo and Gemini energy. This could have been a situation that has taken some time. Or you guys have been separated from each other for like some time now, for a while. All right. Um, since you guys have separated, though, with the magician in the Knight of Pentacles, you guys could have manifested someone new into your life and they're trying to come back and reconnect with you. And you guys could have someone new in your life, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. Um, yeah, there could be a new love in your life with the Ace of Cups. I mean, Ace of Wands to a Cup. So there can be new love that has come into your life because you guys have waited for so long. But it's like this infirm reverse is definitely trying to manifest you back into the life as well. But some of you guys, I feel like you guys have moved on because you guys have went towards something that, you know, is more stable. It's moving slow, but it's moving steady. Um, you guys are getting to know each other. It's new. It's different. It's exciting. All right. So going to a past life relationship. Yeah. For some of you guys, you guys could have a past life soulmate connection with this person, King of Wands Reverse. So this person was like a liar, a cheater, a player. Um, with that King of Wands coming up in Reverse. The King of Wands reverse can be somebody rude, disrespectful, 
um, reliable, breaking promises. Uh, let's see, King of Wands Reverse, the Two of Swords. Yeah, so eventually their true colors came out. A lot of things about them was exposed. This is someone that had you blocked emotionally that you are, um, that you have moved out away from. So you're no longer blocked emotionally by this person or the situation. You kind of did feel stuck, but things were exposed. Something came out. So this, for some of you guys, this is this emperor reverse. This is this person's energy. But I also sense like a new love or a new person around you guys too. All right. Um. So let's go into their feelings really quick. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Death card. So yeah, someone that you've ended things with has been doing a lot of thinking. You've been on their mind lately. All right? They could have been thinking about like, you know, where would we be at if we would have stayed together? Or, you know, maybe just thinking about this new beginning with you or wanting to stop a new beginning with you. Page of Swords. They could be like watching you, looking on your social media, um, asking people about you. Alright, so let's see. Why is the page of swords here? And then we have the death card, Scorpio. Let's see, page of swords. Why is the page of swords here? The nine of pentacles reverse. Eight of wands. And the hangman. So yeah, for some of you guys, you are taken. You are in a relationship. Um, going to the death card, I do see communication coming in from this person. Um, they can live at a distance. Let's see, why is the death card here? Going to the death card. Why is the death card here? Going to the death card. Why is the death card here? Going to the death card. The Empress in reverse. So the Empress in Reverse can tell me that um, you kind of doubted this relationship or this relationship, you know, had you doubting the fact that you guys would move forward. There could have been some insecurities. Some of you guys could have lost yourself in this relationship, so you cut it off. You saw a lack of growth. You didn't see the relationship moving forward. But to see the Emperor and the Empress in Reverse, I feel like you guys were both, because um, you guys are both in Reverse. So it's just like... To see the emperor and the empress in reverse, you guys both needing to go through some type of transformation, some type of change, both needing to really work on yourselves and stuff like that. Let's see why the empress is coming up in reverse. Pay the swords reverse. So it looks like you ended things and blocked this person out. And they've been trying to reach out to you, but you blocked them out because they were with someone with someone else already. And you figured that the relationship was going to stay stagnant and not move forward. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, and the Seven of Cups reverse. So that's you no longer being confused about the situation, choosing you over them and ending the relationship. All right? So in their feelings towards you, it's just like they're still watching you, looking at you. Um, they want to say something to you, but now that I look at the hangman and this energy here, they may not be saying anything to you or they haven't yet, but to see what they're all about, it's like they want to reach out and, you know, like say something to you um, and come towards you and like work on the relationship. But... Or, you know, like, see if there's a chance for you guys to work on a relationship. But with the hangman, it's, if with the page of swords, that's the communication with the eight of wands. So, it's like, either they're going to communicate and not tell you exactly that. Or just, you know, like, they may communicate and just say, like, hey, what's going on? Rather than telling you how they really feel. It could be either way. Going to the hangman. Why is the hangman here? The strength card. They're holding back. They need to find the courage to say something to speak up. Ace of Pentacles, and it's about a relationship. Um, I mean, not a relationship, it's about an offer, but they're scared to say something. And then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So they, they like kind of haven't fully moved on from you, even if they were with someone else. Okay, Art's telling me that this person has stayed in a situation, you know, that was bad, that was unhealthy, they were unhappy. Um, this person could have been just going through a bad divorce or separation with someone else when you guys met and were talking, and maybe they kind of cut off. Um, or when you cut them off, you know, they went back to that situation, you know, faking as if they were happy, knowing that they really weren't happy. So now it looks like they're ready to leave that relationship or it looks like they have left the relationship after going back and want to tell you that or want to speak up or say something to you about that. But 
again, it's like the message they're coming in, but something is still delayed in regards to them telling you how they really feel and what they want, you know, or how they're trying to move forward with you is what I'm getting. So to see the eight of cups in reverse, yeah, I see the four of swords and then we have the tower. So the tower is like unexpected changes or something this happening. This can, this can finally be that they have, you know, divorced or separated or left the situation that they were unhappy in for a long time. But because you guys haven't talked, because you guys don't communicate, you wouldn't know that. Or this could have been you guys' relationship and you guys were just unhappy with each other, faking like you're happy, but you're not. The situation went from bad to worse between you guys. You left, um, or they left, and now it's like they're trying to come back around. But again, it's like some type of communication is delayed. I see the communication coming in, guys. I do. But I see them not saying how or what they really feel, okay? That's what I'm getting. So, it's like, maybe with the shame card, they're going to find the courage to say something. But it's going to take some time. Like, over time, it's all going to finally come out. But I feel like you guys, um, going to the sign of pentacles in reverse, seven of wands, two of cups, and whoever they were with, whoever they were in a relationship with, or whoever they were with, they all they fought and argued about you guys, okay. Or whoever was around them. So there's messages coming in. There's communication coming in. But how they feel. And what they want to tell you. That part. Is it's going to come later. Because that, that hangman is there. That's, it's, that's stagnant or slow. You know it's not. It's going to take them some time to, to say what they, you know, how they truly feel. It's going to take them some time to, you know, to speak up and say, like, what's on their mind and how they truly feel about you or the situation. All right. But let's see. Let's pull the romance angel for the overall energy to see how this person is feeling towards you. Overall, how does this person feel towards you? We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So you guys still have a lot of chemistry between each other. We have let your friends help you. So maybe they've been talking to their friends about you or telling people about you or asking people or trying to get advice about the situation as far as like what they should do or how they should move forward or what they, what they should do about the situation. Or uh, maybe your friends know each other or you know all their friends and family, you know, stuff like that. But let's see. We have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So I feel like they've been, you know, back and forth as to what they should do. You know, what they should do, what they should say. I feel like they've been going to friends or people for advice um, about the situation. Yeah, calling in your soulmate and true love. For some of you guys, they feel like you are, are you where their true love, are you are their true love. All right, and they still have romantic feelings for you. They do, but again, it's like whoever this is, they're not saying something like they're not, it's like they're going to speak up, but not say nothing. Maybe they're going through their karma. Okay. Maybe karma created obstacles between this, between the two of you guys. Um, let's pull some additional messages and kind of see what we get. Additional messages for this reading for today. Damn, all these cards, that's a lot. All right, so let's see. Spirit of Universe messages. We need some additional messages for this reading. So we have dating queen. So you guys could be dating again. You guys can have a few suitors, people liking you, um, buying you gifts, doing nice things for you. We have gifts, we have flowers. Uh, let's see. 
we have brunette female you guys can be a brunette female maybe you guys dyed your hair because she there's two different hair colors and the two different pictures um we have ice queen so you guys it looks like you guys were ice queen you guys were like not really dealing with anybody fuck with anybody didn't want to date for a while or you were like kind of cold towards this person you guys could have definitely made some type of change with like your look like hair nails something like that yeah beauty queen so you guys have just been all about you hair nails all of that um so you guys go from like being like kind of cold and cutting someone off to like you know switching up and doing something different with yourself um we have spiritual growth so maybe um oh yeah we have soulmate so this relationship was to help you guys grow and evolve okay it was also to mature you guys all right mature woman not saying you guys weren't mature but you have grown from this relationship or due to this situation it has helped you grow and mature in some type of way this is a past love i'm getting um let's see what additional messages for this reading we have triangle so there it looks like there was some type of triangle we have long distance so you guys could have distanced yourself from this person due to a love triangle maybe this relationship was long distance and you guys used to hook up and talk and you guys have fun times and you guys seeing each other but you had to cut off the you know third party situation now there's two guys and a girl here on the love triangle card so when this person comes back around remember i said some of you guys have kind of moved on or you guys have moved on and went towards new love because that's what you guys um have manifested or called in new love and then we have control and yeah whoever this person was they try to control things remember when i said you guys weren't tripping it's like um They thought you were down for the open relationship. Some of you guys, it didn't have to be an open relationship. You know, it could have just been, you know, things didn't work out between you and this person. But um, let's see. Give me a couple more messages and that's it. Let's see. A couple more messages. We have freedom. So you guys, you know, got your freedom. You're free from the relationship. We have children. Some of you guys could have children with this person or, you know, others of you, you're just really focused on children or your children um freeing yourself from love for right now or freeing yourself from that relationship and like focusing on your children and you know doing stuff with the kids being more active with the kids and stuff um all you guys could have had two or three children with this person let's see and then we have dating so yeah you guys are back out dating so some of you guys you're dating again okay building friendships with people um are doing this person we're friends some of you guys been networking too with work, okay? Um, friendship and work. You guys have been networking, so getting yourself out there are just been working and, you know, like meeting people and stuff like that and dating. So it looks like you guys have been doing a lot of different things from the messages that I'm seeing. You guys can have a dark meal that's coming into your life or maybe this was a dark meal you guys are dealing with. Let's see. And then we have court team man and beauty queen and new love. So, yeah. And that is the gossip. I feel like someone has went back and told this person, like, so-and-so is with somebody else, so-and-so is dating someone else. The kids could have even told, you know, um, mom's dating someone new or dad's dating someone new, you know, something like that. But we have courting them, um, beauty queen, and new love. So a lot of you guys are um, uh, attracting new love. New love is coming in. And we have the gossip and passion and true gem. Yeah. So someone's like, oh, like, so-and-so has been like a real, you know, a real man or a real woman and there's a lot of passion and they hang out and they do this they do that you know it could be something like that it doesn't have to be but there's some gossip in regards to this relationship when it comes to you let's see yeah i see the king of pentacles this will be that relationship remember the magician knight of pentacles ace of wands and this is something like more serious more stable and that is what is being gossip because maybe you have found or attracted someone much better yep see the queen of wands you're moving forward you're moving ahead okay attracting the love all right, so I feel like that could be also what the gossip is too. All right, so that is what I have for you guys for today for the reading. Um, if I resonate with you guys, please, if I resonated with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would like to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com. And the what else, guys? That is it. Don't forget to check out my online spiritual shop, mytearsafeelmyheart.com. Send you guys much of love and light. Stay dope and I will see you guys tomorrow in the daily reading. All right. Bye, loves.